How do you like to chill out? Ha, <laughs> just kidding. You're watching Down to Top, so I know you all about that gaming life. But sometimes you gotta chill, but there ain't no net. So today, we got another list of games that don't even need internet access. Hey guys, this is Sam from Down to Top, and today I'm back with another countdown of the top 15 offline games for Android and iOS. But before going ahead, you know Sammy needs them likes, so be sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to Down to Top. And while you're at it, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out any of our videos, and maybe next time you can be the one down in the comments saying, FIRST! Alright, here we go. Number 15, Marble Clash. This is a challenging action game where you control a robot with a variety of guns. Your main objective is to collect the most coins until the last round. There are other players also available on the battleground and they want to steal your coins. So you gotta fight them off, destroy them, and take their coins instead. The game is kind of like a battle royale game where the size of the map reduced by one fourth after completion of each round. So you gotta continuously fight with other players until you win the match. Overall, it's a great game, great graphics, and you should definitely try this one out. Next at 14 is Robbery Madness. This one's a first-person shooter heist and theft simulator game focused on action and stealth with RPG elements. It's got heaps of comedy and some amazing cartoon graphics as well. In the game, you play the role of an amateur robber. If you're all about looks, you won't like this character. He's an older, funny-looking guy who is starting a new career as a thief. Your first mission is a heist of a shopping mall, where avoiding camera detection and patrolling robots is your number one goal. Overall, it's an entertaining game with some eye-catching graphics and the animations are colorful and fluid. Number 13, Bionix. This is a simulation game which is similar to a few other games like Agar.io and Slither.io that involve growing your creature by consuming other players. In Bionix, you play as a unique microbe or virus-like creature, cause I guess we need more viruses in 2021? Which you guide with your finger, collect cells to grow while trying to defeat other creatures by attacking them. Each creature has their own unique abilities that you can use during the fight. Also, you can eat cells and collect their DNA for evolution, which will make your creature bigger and stronger. Overall, it's a great game with some very cutesy graphics. Number 12, Grandpa and Granny 3, Death Hospital. <laughs> You got into a terrible story and found yourself tied up in a hospital bed. A psychiatric hospital, no less. All the exits and entrances are blocked and there is no escape. So how are you going to escape from your grandparents? The most important task is to act as quickly as possible until you're found during the game of hide and seek. Solve a lot of difficult puzzles, deftly and quietly move around the territory, do not be suspicious of others, collect useful items and find a way to get out. Number 11, Death Invasion City Survival. Have you ever imagined or dreamed you were in a horrifying world of a zombie pandemic? Death Invasion is pretty much the world you'd imagine. The place you live is a city occupied by death. Immerse yourself in a 3D world of non-stop action in Death Invasion where your objective is none other than to roam each of the successive hellscapes in search of green control points. In this way, you help rescue efforts and aid those under siege by attacking zombies. If you're looking for a good game involving lots of frantic shooting action, Death Invasion is definitely right up your alley. Run through each of the cityscapes, explore, head to safe spots, and kick down doors, and annihilate the undead. Number 10, Project Drift 2.0. This is a new offline drift simulator for Android with a whole bunch of cool cars and a wide open world map. In Project Drift 2.0, you'll have to drift constantly, getting points and increasing your multiplier on a single open world map. The game has high quality graphics and realistic driving physics. It's in development and there will be more features in the future, like an exciting multiplayer mode, for example. 
Number 9. Into the Darkness This one's a horror puzzler game where you're in search of your kidnapped son in a haunted castle. In the world of magic, you gotta discover ways to unlock the mysteries and avoid the scary ghosts. The game is full of jump scares and chilling horror atmosphere, so careful when you're searching for different items to solve the puzzle. Overall, it's a good game to play with other people who can laugh at you when you scream. Number 8. World of Demons This is a new sword hack and slash action game available on all Apple devices with a subscription to Apple Arcade. The concept of the game is based on the old tales of samurais versus yokai, which are supernatural monsters and spirits from Japanese folklore. Players will follow a young warrior as he sets out to kill the Oni King Shatin Doji, who has corrupted the yokai and is trying to take over Japan. As you play and defeat the yokai, you free them and can use them in battles as your minions. The game has intuitive touch controls and complex combos, which is fun for both new fans and experienced gamers. Also, we have another interesting game, One Escape. Gotcha. This is the latest release from Crescent Moon, and it's an enjoyable stealth game all about avoiding cops as you break out of jail. More or less, it's a stealth 2D platformer, so it offers a good chunk of action, and the level design is pretty good too. So some stages are pretty challenging. It all makes for a fun experience as you sneak your way out of jail, which is why this is an easy title to recommend this week. Now back to number 7 with Jelly Drift. This is a single player racing game where there's two different game modes. One where you race against a simple AI, or the second when you race against a time lap that you created so basically you're competing with yourself. There's 8 cars and 4 maps available, all inspired by the anime initial drift. The downside of the game is the AI cars are extremely difficult to beat because they don't drift and they retain their momentum really well. To beat them, players have to be extremely good at knocking them off the map or finding out some shortcuts. Number 6. Paper Flight This one's a paper plane flying game that'll keep you hooked for hours. I know I was. You'll engage your enemies in a dogfight and defeat them with the help of different skill sets and weapons. The game also features different types of levels and up to six beautiful color themes to different world maps where you can fight with other NPC players. Also, you can fly as far as you can and explore the different hidden areas of the map. In addition, there's lots of other types of planes that you can unlock as you progress in the game. And overall, it's got good graphics and pretty decent controls. Number 5. Disease of Hazard This is an action game on the ever-popular theme of the zombie apocalypse, not the first one on our list today. As the player, you control the main character, who needs to make your way through the virus-riddled city to save your daughter and deliver her to a safe place. To do this, you gotta go through huge crowds of the walking dead. To achieve your main objective, you gotta get lots of different weapons and equipment that you'll encounter along the way. Overall, it's got a great storyline, and I think you should definitely try this one out. Number 4. Angry Dad This is a simulation game in which you play the role of Dad. In the game, all you want to do is watch the football match peacefully, but due to many housework and phone calls, you're not able to watch the football match, which increases your stress. So the goal is to not let your stress bar get full. For that, you have to work a little bit, then watch a little bit. The graphics are quite beautiful, vivid, and colorful, and if you're a fan of fun arcade games and still looking for some new ones, then you should definitely try out Angry Dad. It may be right up your alley. Number 3. Glow Course This is an interesting and entertaining arcade game where you control a glowing ball that runs over a long track. Your primary objective is avoiding obstacles, but you'll also collect coins, upgrades, and power-ups to help you out along the way. The game features single-player mode with over 36 beautifully satisfying levels. They are fast-paced, varied in theme, and well-balanced with tons of obstacles. The graphics are lovely, far better than other ball arcade games that I've seen before. The simple, smooth gameplay with the extra features makes it hard to find any actual flaws in the game, which is probably why we stuck it at number 3. Number 2. Truck USA Evolution this one, as you may have guessed from the title, is a truck simulation driving game and it's very worthwhile for you to try out. 
The game offers a real trucking experience that'll let you explore amazing locations across the states. The game features many semi-truck brands with realistic engine sounds and detailed interiors. You can drive different types of heavy trucks across the country and transport cool stuff like vehicles, gasoline, food, and heavy machinery thousands of miles. Also, recently the game got a major upgrade, so if you want to check it out, now is the time. Number 1. Slash of Sword 2 Finally on our list today, we got a role-playing game that's set in medieval times with a very interesting plot. The story starts from the moment when the main character, who will be you, basically, is framed and falsely accused of a crime. As punishment, you have to fight in the arena with various opponents. The game offers updated graphics, new levels, and a new storyline, just as you'd expect from a sequel. Like most free-to-play games, earning in-game currency is difficult, and so progress is slow. It offers enjoyable RPG-based swordplay, but the balancing is a bit irritating. And that's it for the top 15 best offline games for the month of May. This is Sam from Down to Top. Thank you so much for hanging out with me again today. Be sure to smash that like button to keep me motivated to keep coming back with more videos week after week. And hit the subscribe button so you're the first to comment on those new videos when they drop. That's all for this week. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!